This time we are going to talk about the metallic bond in chemistry. Previously we mentioned the ionic bonds, the covalent bonds, the hydrogen bonds. Today we are going to talk about the metallic bonds. This kind of bonding is very simple and it occurs in metals. And as we know, metals always have three electrons in their outermost energy levels. For example, sodium has an atomic number of 11. Um, so it has an atomic configuration of 2, 8, then 1. And uh, this electron is a free electron. So, um, another one like magnesium. Magnesium has a 12th. So it's 2, 8, 2. Aluminum is 13, so it's 2, 8, 3. And here, the number of electrons in the outermost energy shell, or energy level, is directly proportional to the strength of the metallic bond. Now, uh, we can see a variety in the melting points of these elements. For example, um, magnesium melts at 60 at 650 degrees Celsius and aluminum at 660 degrees Celsius while while sodium at 98 degrees Celsius. Now we can notice the variation. Uh, the electrons in the uttermost energy shells of these elements actually share in forming the metallic bond in the outermost layer of the metal. So that these energy uh, free electrons, these free electrons in the outermost energy levels, can transfer and move in the outermost layer of the metal and they form the metallic bond that decides how much the metal is strong. So, sodium is weak or malleable and it has a relatively low melting point where magnesium is um, good and aluminum is strong. So what we conclude from this is that basically the strength of the metallic bond depends on the number of electrons in the outermost energy level of the metal. And that's it for chapter 3 in chemistry. The next time we'll begin chapter 4 that talks about the elements of the S block in the periodic table. Until then, I thank you for watching and see you.